hey loves and welcome back to the channel if you're new welcome and in today's video i'm really excited to share with you something i've been working really hard on for a while now which is making my own pdf pattern this is especially for people who don't want to go through the whole stress of drafting their own patterns but love to sew amazing clothes for themselves so i came up with this because also a lot of you guys have been asking for it so this will be the instruction video for my very first pattern which is the stella dress this is now available on my etsy shop and the link will be in the description box they are available in sizes 34 to 48 so everyone is included in here and yeah without any further ado let's get right into the video so this is the preview page and you can see that it entails all of the pattern pieces so if you have to download this it would be 24 pages of a4 sheets so before i go and put everything together i want to show you a few things on the pattern paper before i do that so on the pattern paper or on each a4 sheet you see that there are these little boxes here and that is where you would be joining the papers so you would match those boxes on each of the paper So with that said, I will now go and put everything together and then cut it out and then I would show you guys the next move. So this is how it looks after all the pages have been put together you can see all the patterns there it's a bit faint to see on the camera i don't know why but yeah this is how it looks i'm bringing it a bit closer for you to see it clearly so what i'm going to do now is to cut out the size that i would be needing for the dress so now with all the um, pages taped together it's time to cut and to be able to cut the right size for yourself you can see that all the lines have different colors and the easiest trick is to start from the inside that is how i do it so for example if you're size four that is the smallest size so you pick the first one from the inside and then from size six you go out the second one size eight the third one size 10 like that until the last size so that is the easiest way to do it so now i would find my size and then i will cut it out and then from there we would uh, put it on the fabric and cut them out with the top pattern you should have four pieces so this is the bra cup piece and this is the back piece with that 
and then this is the side front and then the center front which would be cut on fold so make sure you have all these pieces in your size for the skirt pieces this is the front this is the center front also would be cut on fold and then this is the side front which would be um cut two so cut two of these and cut one of these for the front skirt and for the back skirt you we still have two pieces so you cut two of each two for the center back panel and then two for the side back panels so make sure you have all these pieces also the straps one will be for the shoulder and one will also be for binding of the bra cap area so once you have everything now we'll move on to laying the patterns on our fabric and cutting them out This is the fabric i'll be using it's a poplin cotton fabric so you can decide which fabric you want and here is the front skirt i have laid the pieces and cut them out so you can see that i cut the center panel on fold and the other side i did cut two and this is the back panel i did cut two of each because there is a zip extension at the center back so that is also it for the back pieces now for the front so that is the center front that has been cut on fold like that so two of that because i'll be using one to line the top and then also four of the side front and then four of the ruched bust and four of the back so i'm going to start sewing or stitching the skirt first and then what i'm going to do is to pin them up so you can see the center front panel and then i'll pin the side panels to it right sides facing so after pinning the front i would also go ahead and pin the back pieces so i will remove my patterns and then at the side back um side back side seam i will mark it i'll label it to help me see the difference because it's a little bit similar to the other side so i'll first pin the center back which is the zip extension area and then from there i would pin the side panels to the other side right side facing And once that is done, I'll go ahead to the sewing machine and stitch all of the seams. And once it's stitched, I'll go to my iron and press all the seams flat. And then what I'm going to do next is to face the um, front to the back and then sew the side seams. Once that is done, I will... I would go ahead to my serger and serge all the seams. And this is how it looks after serging. So I will put the skirt aside and then move to the front or the top part of the top. So this is the lower part and that is the center front. So I will also um, match it with the side front and then pin them together. So you know you see that we have two of that. So one will be for the main top and or the um, outer top, and the other will be for the lining. So I'm using the same fabric to line it. So yeah. So so the seams and this is how it should look. You should iron the seams flat so what i'm going to do now is to take the ruching part or the cap part of the top and then what i'm going to do now is to run gather stitches on the lower side and the armhole area of the 
cap so i'll do that for all four of them and then what i'll do is to grab two of the gather stitches from either the top or the lower side and ruch it like that and then also ruch the armhole area a little bit so i'll do that for all four of those and this is how they should be looking so once, once that is done, I'll go ahead and pin it to where it's supposed to be. So side to side and center front to center front. And then try to release the gathers a little bit to fit into that area. I'll pin the other one as well. And then I'll go ahead and do that for the lining part as well and stitch it so after stitching this is how it's looking it looks a bit weird now but yeah now i'll move on to the back piece of the top and then i'll go ahead and mark all my that on all four pieces and then go ahead and stitch so this is how they look after stitching and what i'm going to do now is to slash through the dots and then trim it down a little bit you can decide to leave it as it is but i just want to do it and iron the seam flat to give it a nice finish so this is how it looks after stitching and ironing so i will take the front piece and the back piece and then put the side seams together and pin them so i'll do that for um, both the front and the inner lining pieces and then stitch all of them so once that is stitched i'll go ahead and trim the side seams as i always do and yeah i'm going to sew on the bonings to the lining part of the top and this is how it looks i used a sew on bone so i used the zigzag stitch to um sew it to the fabric you can use the other types of boning as well it doesn't really matter so what i'm going to do now is to cut and stitch my straps for the shoulder so the same um, strap runs through the gathered part of the top or the cup part of the top so make your strap as long as possible so what i'm going to do now is to attach the strap to the back side of the top so i'll attach it to both sides like that and then make sure that the ruching is on the armhole is equal to the one on the pattern paper so mine was about four inches so i made the ruching um four inches so i'll try to align the lining fabric to the outer part of the top so side seam to side seam and then also pin the center back make sure all the seams are aligning so what i'm going to do is to stitch from the center back to where the armhole ends without stitching the upper part of the um cup so i will show you the area i'll be stitching and also at the center of the cup leaving out the upper part if you get what i mean i'll show you so don't get confused so you stitch from there to the center back and also the center front like that without stitching the upper part so from the armhole to the side back so once that is done you flip it over and this is how it should look the center is stitched and the upper part is opened so what i'm going to do now is to open it up and then pin the waist to the skirt so what i would do to the skirt part is to unpick the center back where the zip extension is so once that is done i will take my top part of the dress and then pin it to the waist of the skirt so notice that i'm only pinning the side without the boning 
to the skirt part so once that is pinned i'll go ahead and stitch it and this is how it should look so only one part of the waist is stitched so what what i'm going to do now is to fix the zip but before that i will go and unpick a little bit at the center back where the on the upper part of the center back if you really get it yeah over there i would unpick it a little bit before attaching the zip so once that is done i would go ahead and fix my zip and this is how it looks after fixing the zip so once the zip has been fixed now i will flip the lining fabric over like that and then remember where we unpicked i will now use it to finish the upper part of the zip like that so i'll go ahead and stitch it like that so the zip will be in between those two seams so i will stitch to the lower part and leave half an inch without stitching so this is how it looks i trimmed off the corners a little bit to give it a sharp corner once it has been flipped to the right side and then it finishes the zip as well so at this moment this is how the zip is looking on the inside and also at the out outer part so what i'm going to do now is to turn in the half an inch allowance to finish the inside of the lining or the inside of the dress so i'll pin everything and then go out and sew in the ditch so i'm using the stitch in the ditch method like i did for last week's dress so this is how it's looking now i'm going to put in the slit so from the waist to the where the slit start i marked in 11 you can go even further or longer if you want depending on your choice so i won't pick until that side and then reinforce that part with stitches so i'll go back and forth and i'll be using my hemming um, adhesive for that because i don't want any seam to be showing and i use that also to hem the dress as well so make sure that when those two slits parts or the hems come together make sure they are equal so one is not longer than the other so now we're going to be working on the upper part of the bust line so i'll put them together and run two gather stitches on each so once that is done i'll use my seam ripper to pull out or separate the top uh, thread from the lower thread to help me ruche the cap so i will do that for both of them so i want the total ruching to be six inches so this is how it's looking at the moment so six inches for both of the ruched part and then i'll use a normal stitch to um, tack it down so that it wouldn't move once that is done i'll cut out all the gathers um, stitches And once that is done i'll cut a strap of bias fabric and that i'll be using to finish that part so i will cut the diagonal edge away and then fold in the edge like that to finish it and then attach it to the um guarded part pin it down and then i'll stitch in half of an inch and then repeat the same on the other side of the bust fold in the end to finish it and then stitch it so once it has been stitched i would flip it over turn it in like that and then flip it over and pin it down so it will serve as a finish for the upper part of the cup and also serve as a channel to um, insert the strap so here it's done and i'll use my loop turner to pull the strap from the back through to, um, the loop or through the channel to the center front 
and then repeat the same on the other side make sure your strap is fairly straight pull it through to the center front and that will be it for this dress it's really nice and easy to make you can decide to line it if you want but i didn't want to so this is how it looks also at the back i'll be trying it on for you guys to see thank you for watching and see you again in my next video